to the post-game rundown from the Hockey Hall of Fame Legends Classic game that I attended back on Sunday, November 10th, 2024. But before I get to this one, I want you guys to please leave a like on the subscribe, guys shout out new, hit notifications, leave a comment down below if you guys have any thoughts on this game went to, if you guys are at the game, any other thoughts and feelings, guys have a general on this post-game rundown, feel free to leave a comment section below, I'd like to have you guys on there. Alright guys, let's just jump right into it, so I have a couple things to say before I get to this one, I'm just going to make this real fast guys, so, number one guys, as you can see in the background, uh, there has been a little bit of change in the room, uh, yeah, when I was at the game yesterday, I'm filming this on Remembrance Day, yeah, so lest we forget, I don't have my poppy on this video, but I will be wearing it today, I will definitely be wearing it when I'm out in public, so yeah, just remember that guys, but... Yeah, with the room, I mean, a little bit of changes, um, yeah, so my parents, like, my mom and my grandma, like, fixed it up yesterday, I, I mean, I didn't do that, <laughs> I mean, I was at the game, and they were just doing that for me, so, you know, it's nice of them, and I appreciate it, but, you know, yeah, but it's, it's a little different, I mean, I wouldn't have changed anything, I liked it the way it was, guys, but, I mean, like, you know, it's good to have some change once in a while, so that's why you see some of the mascots over there, and some other stuff in different places, but, yeah, you know, that's besides the point, but also, guys, I want to say thanks for 300 subscribers. I did make a community post, but yeah, we hit 300. Let's go. Yeah, I hit 300 subscribers on this channel. So thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. Um, The only thing I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet for the special. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing for the special yet. I'm pr trying to look at the 200 subscriber special, see what I said. I'm going to look at it after I do this, but... Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm going to get to that at some point. If it comes out a little bit late, I'm sorry, guys. I'll do everything I can to get it up. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for 300. Really appreciate it, guys. And, yeah, thanks for all the support. Really just want to say all, thanks for all the support. And, yeah, thanks for getting me 300. Really appreciate it, guys. And, yeah, I really appreciate that. And one more disclaimer. This is mainly for the actual event itself. Uh, there was no box score, unfortunately. So I can't really go through each goal. There was a ton of them anyways. But yeah, it's not like it was a real game. It's more of a charity game. So it's not like they're going to have a box score on the website or anything. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to recap goal for goal. So we're just going to have to go based off my own knowledge. And maybe I'll just say it, how I felt about some of them. I don't know. Okay, we'll just... All right, guys, let's just get into it. I'm going to just go with all the things that happened in order. I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. Already, like, two minutes in the video. So, I'm just going to get into this as fast as possible, guys. So, let's start. So, we'll go from the morning to the evening. So, we went to the train station, as usual. So, we'll start with that. Went down. Um, and then, first of all, guys, I went to lunch at Spaghetti Factory this time. And, yeah, you guys saw that. You saw all the food and stuff. Really good. I mean, I recommend it. I mean, I'll say this. It's not the, like, it's not, like, real Italian food. It's not, like, really authentic, right? I'm just gonna say that for people who think that. It's not really authentic Italian food, but I like it. You know, it's good, right? You know, they have the chicken farm. You know, you have the, you have the panne pasta. That's what I had. I had that meal. I think you can get it with spaghetti as well, guys, just so you guys are aware of that. I just, like, panic because I just, the spaghetti is so hard to eat, right? You gotta like, do that. I don't know. Anyways, and then I also had their famous Spermani ice cream. That's like their, that's what they're known for. Like that flavor specifically, like it has chocolate, vanilla, and then that green stuff. I think that's pistachio, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can let me know if you know about that for sure. I think it's pistachio, the green stuff. But yeah, it's like, you know, it's like a Neapolitan ice cream is another way to put it. It's like kind of like their signature one, I think. So, you know, I like it. It's pretty good. Actually, they give you a lot more chocolate than expected. So you're, you're honestly might as well just get this for money if you like other flavors, I guess. But they do give you a lot of chocolate. That's a big uh, warning from me, guys. Just saying. Sometimes they give you a little bit more chocolate or vanilla, I guess. I don't know. I guess sometimes I think I saw one with more vanilla on it, too. I don't know, guys. But, you know, I like their ice cream. It's really good, guys. I definitely recommend the ice cream there. Um. So, yeah, then we went to the Scotia Arena. You know, pretty typical. Uh, went inside. Uh, yeah, it was just the 100 level open as well. I noticed the 300 level sections are tarped. I'm not surprised by that because it's not a really big event. But it's big enough where, you know, you still need the 100 level. So they opened all the 100 level sections. So, yeah, we walked around the concourse of the 100 level only this one. But, you know, 100s are really nice. So I can't really complain about that. It looks still really nice. Um, yeah, other than the stuff that's under construction. So you can still see all the stuff that's under construction. It could be better, but it is what it is, guys. But, you know, overall... Uh, it was a really good event, guys. Uh, yeah, you know, and the seats are really good, guys. We were in 119. It was pretty much dead center. Uh, Reds and the last row of the red section. So that was pretty good. It's, I, I like it, too, because they just have the bars in front of you, and there's nobody really in front of you. You can, like, put your legs, like, you can put your legs up. It's like, almost like a leg rest, so it's awesome. 
And I needed it for that long ceremony, guys. So yeah, basically, okay, before I get to the ceremony. Um, so basically, we got to our seats. Then the players came out for warm-ups, as we were expecting. Saw, like, who was on each roster. And yeah, I saw Wayne Simmons on Team Effort. That's, like, the first thing I noticed. You know, I saw Ronick. I don't know, actually, Ronick didn't come until later on with the other guys that were getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I just want to say, since the ceremony's tonight, congratulations to all the 2024 indu induction class. Uh, you know, definitely Shea Weber, you know, David Poyle. He did a good job building National Private State of Poyle. Um, Jeremy Roenick, obviously, he was, like, the main star of this one. I'll get into him a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, just congratulations. I, I don't – I forgot the other – I forgot the female players. I'm sorry. But whoever's getting inducted tonight, and Pavel Datsuk as well, matching man, uh, congratulations to all you guys. Well, and, yeah, females. Well-deserved. You know, I just want to say well-deserved, you know? Yeah. Whoever's getting inducted tonight, you know, well-deserved for this year. Class of 2024. You know, congratulations to you guys. But – um, yeah, so basically saw the warm-ups, then it was a long ceremony, they did, like, videos and stuff, that's why I had to separate it, I did not include it in the vlog, guys, because I was just thinking, you know, it's not really gonna be worth, it's too long, and it's so hard, it's gonna be so hard for me to edit, too, so I just decided to put it all in a separate video, whoever watches it, watches it, I'm sorry for it being, like, 37 minutes long, guys, but it was a long ceremony, and I didn't even get all the interviews, either, I'm, I'm sorry about that, too, I mean, it was just so much filming, like, you know, I had to do so much filming just for what, like with the ceremony. Like I'm not saying I'm not complaining, but they could have made it a little shorter, right? Like they could have, like they, they they just kept dragging it on and on and on. It's like the leaf ceremony, but it goes like way longer. Like leaf ceremony is like like ten fifteen minutes. That was like maybe like half an hour. I mean actually maybe forty five minutes. I don't even know. That was a long ceremony, but uh yeah guys. I mean overall, I mean it was pretty good. I mean ceremony. I liked the ceremony. It was just so long. That's all. It was just the length of it was too long, but. If you guys don't like lawn ceremonies, I recommend maybe get up and walk around maybe during that time if you don't like ceremonies. And yeah, and yeah, so uh, I guess we'll just get into the game itself now. There's really nothing else to talk about, so I'm going to just straight into the game. Uh, we'll do the final score. I'm not going to do goal for goal. I, as I said, I'm sorry about that, guys, but there is no box score or anything for stats because they probably don't count, and it means nothing. It's just a charity game, and everyone's not really trying to just play it for fun. So... The final score was Team Effort 9 and uh, Team Lindros 6. So, yeah. Yeah, it was a good game. A lot of scoring. But, like, there was some points where they just got nothing, right? Like, it was 7-4 going in the shootout. And, like, actually a good chunk of the goals. Uh, well, it was, like, four goals for, yeah, total in the shootout. Yeah, they got two. And, then uh, yeah, Lindros got two. So, each team got two goals in the shootout. But that was it. I mean, that was it. I'll say this, though. Wayne Simmons, the first goal, I believe, for them at a team heifer. He did a nice goal. He, like, did a backhand, like, went top shelf. And then I also like the Ronick goals that he scored. Like, yeah, I liked all the, like, the both two Ronick goals. Oh, they were nice. Like, especially uh, the, the first one, like, the goal he wasn't even trying. He just put it right in. That was a good one for Ronick, man. That was good. That was a good one. And then, you know, the second one, I, yeah, it was a penalty shot because the goalie, like, pushed the net off. That was hilarious. And he was like, they're thinking, oh, it's the wind. It's the wind. Yeah, obviously you pushed it. We know you pushed it. Because why, why else would you get, why else would it come off like that unless you kicked it or something? Like, you know, doesn't make sense. Like, he fully pushed it off the net. I've never seen that. <laughs> I know he's just trying to make it interesting, trying to make the refs, like, make bad calls or something, you know. <laughs> and the play-by-play -play guy, too, I'll give him a lot of credit. He was being really good. I, I forgot his name, but really good play-by-play -play guy. He, he did really good. And... Yeah, you know, I like that Wayne Simmons goal. That was probably one of my favorite goals for sure, and the Ronick goals too. And then, you know, even Jeremy Ronick in the second half of the game. And yeah, actually, with the way this game works, two 20-minute halves with the shootout in the end. So yeah, I was pretty much right. It was pretty much similar to a Hockey Night Brampton style, where they just do a couple periods, and then they just do a shootout, and that's it, pretty much. Um, and I do apologize, guys, if I did miss anything, because we were trying to catch trade. It was like 10 minutes before we had to leave, like before it left. So we just left in the nick of time, and because of where our seats were, we were able to just leave. So um, if I did miss anything important, guys, which I probably didn't because I did see the entire game, like the action on the ice itself. Well, that's it. There was, like, no action. They probably would have just did the check, and that's it. But I'm not going to. But you have to wait another hour because it's the weekend. If it was during the week, it was only half an hour maybe, but, like, you know, it's not really worth it, guys. Like, I'm not going to wait another hour, if, especially if I've seen the whole event at that point. Like, uh, I've got to go while I can go, right? But... Yeah, I mean, if anyone has a video of that, I would greatly appreciate it. And that's it, guys, pretty much. There's really nothing else to say. But also, guys, um, I want to say I did get this. This is the program that they gave to everyone that, that went in the arena. So, yeah, when we went in, we got this. So you can see Team Lindros, Team Effort. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I haven't really opened this up. I'm going to read a little bit. I don't, I don't want to do too much. Oh, these, so these, okay, here's all the inductions, okay. Okay, so yeah, these, see, they show you all the people that get, get inducted, see. So yeah, Shea Weber, Colin Campbell, yeah, this is the guy who actually made the Situation Room, which is great. Uh, obviously, we got a goal called back. What are the odds against Detroit? Natalie Darwitz, okay, congratulations, Natalie Darwitz. Yeah, that's one of the females I forgot. Powell Dadsu, David Poyle is in there. And then Jeremy Roenick, Shea Weber, then I guess, yeah, then Chrissy Wendell. Yeah, that's right, Chrissy Wendell. Um, yeah, so congrats to all six of them, all, all seven of them. I almost said six, but yeah, congrats to all seven of them. Uh, well deserved for them. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing what else I can see in here. Um, Westland Insurance. I think they're just mainly just like stats. I guess it's for people who don't know anything about these players. It's just like all the, yeah, what all the inductees did to get in there, so... It's pretty, actually, Lindros apparently played in this last year, too, because I can see him right there wearing another Hockey Hall of Fame jersey. Um, yeah, these are the rosters, guys. Yeah, these are all the rosters right here, I believe. So, yeah, those are all the rosters. Because I can see, yeah, I can see Jeremy Rowan. I think all the ones that are highlighted are the ones getting inducted, yeah. Because they came in later, like Shea Weber, Pavel Datsuk, and... Natalie Darwitz and uh, Jeremy Roenick, they all came in later, obviously. Uh, we saw them come in from the Leafs locker room door. Um, yeah, that was interesting. That was, it was kind of cool, I guess. I mean, especially Lindros, they were down 4-1 at the time, so they needed that help. I mean, I mean, they just, they just weren't able to catch up. I think after they gave those four goals, that was, I mean, they couldn't catch up. They had that nice open net goal, and then they gave another one, so it's just... It was a tough game for Lindros. I gotta feel bad for him. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, the team, you just didn't pick the good enough players, right? I mean, you gotta, could have stepped it up. But I like Jeremy Roenick's dance thing in the second half. I mean, I tried to dance a little bit. I wanted to just get it because you never see it, like, on video. Um, that was cool. Oh, man, that was probably one of the best parts, honestly, because, like, the goals were just coming. But, you know, I liked it. You know, Jeremy Roenick, you know, he has a good personality. Definitely uh, getting the crowd hyped up. And that's what he used to do. He did it, you know, he did a dance, like, during the game when he was with the Kings back then. So, and he also played with the Blackhawks, too. So, my grandpa really liked seeing him, too. I mean, he's a good guy, man. You know, he has a good personality. And I appreciate guys with personality. So, I'll definitely give Roenick a lot of credit. And congratulations again in the Hall of Fame if he ends up seeing this somehow. But, yeah, he's a great guy. But... Anyways, guys, we're just going to do it, guys. I really don't have too much else to say. You know, it's just pretty much a charity on game. I mean, what can you say? I mean, it's just for fun. Nobody's really trying. There were some nice goals. You know, I mean, even Raycroft was in there, too. You know, former Leaf goalie, so that was pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, that was pretty much it. So, yeah, so that's going to do it, guys. So, have a good day, guys, and I'll see you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's going to wrap it up, guys. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, I want you guys to please leave a like little scratch out for new. In locations, leave your comments down below. If you guys have any thoughts, get what to. If you, guys, if you guys are at the game, and I do recommend this event for anybody who is either new to hockey or you guys like older hockey players, I guess, uh, yeah, just go to these events if you like that. But it's up to you guys. You guys make the choice. And, yeah, you guys, like, it's all. It's up to you guys if you want to go to these games or not. I mean, it's pretty cool. I recommend it. And, you know, it's only once a year. I mean, the ceremony's a little bit long, so that's a little bit of a tip. But other than that, it's a really good event. I recommend it. You know, if you guys are just new to hockey, if you want to learn more about the sport, hey, I, I mean, I recommend it. Go go check it out. It's pretty cool when they do it every year. It's just once a year, guys. Like, especially if you can't afford a Leaf game, just do it. I mean, just go. You get to see the Leafs arena. It's pretty cool, right? So I would say recommend it. I would recommend it. So that's going to do it, guys. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be. It's probably going to be a Leafs and Sense footage. You guys should see that announcement up by now. So, yeah, because I'm posting it today, too, because I already scheduled it to be posted for today. So, you guys should be seeing that. So, next game, yeah, you guys will be seeing footage from the next game. Leafs versus Ottawa Senators at the same building as this event, Scotiabank Arena. So, that, so, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out! Well, Buck, I think he's going to put the jacket on. Back to Steve. Shot! Stop! Absolute blast! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, my God!